In nature, hazardous weather is almost always in motion. New research and technology are making it possible to provide continuous information about a storm and its movement. Threats in motion is the next step in the evolution of how weather information is provided to the public. Let's take a look at how tornado warnings are currently issued. A warning polygon is added to alert those in harm's way. As the storm gets closer to the edge of the polygon, a new warning is issued. Once the storm has passed, the old warning goes away. This process is repeated for the life of the storm. Now, let's take a look at how threats in motion works. A warning polygon is issued at the location of the threat. The warning extends out in time with a 30-minute projection of the storm's path. The warning moves in the same direction and at the same rate as the storm. People are alerted as soon as the warning polygon includes their location. Threats in motion basically takes the computer power we have to allow us to update it more frequently give more frequent updates and advance warning for people who are downstream from where the current warnings are right now and give them advanced lead time to take action. Here's an example of how threats in motion gives people more time to react. Let's say Jane lives here and Hector lives here. With the traditional warning polygon, Jane gets an alert with plenty of time to take action. Hector, on the other hand, is just outside the warning polygon and doesn't get the alert until the next warning is issued. Hector has less time to take precautions. Now compare the same situation with threats in motion. With a moving warning, both Jane and Hector receive an equal heads up. Threats in motion also will improve how long you and your family need to stay in your shelter. Notice Jane's location. Once the threat moves past her, she receives an all-clear notification. It's a better, more seamless way of letting people know not only when they're in the threat area, but almost as importantly when they're out of it and when they can come out of their shelter. The way a warning is issued with threats in motion will affect everyone. That's why NOAA researchers are partnering with the National Weather Service, TV broadcasters, and emergency management. We have to make sure we understand how end users such as the public or businesses can receive this information and know what to do with it. We also have to make sure that we understand if forecasters are ready for this because it's a pretty big paradigm shift. So we have quite a bit of research ahead of us to set us up to do this successfully. For more info on this project, check us out online and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.